What is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats and you guys might see that I'm still wearing the same thing as one of my previous videos because what I did is that I went and filmed a video and then right after that I've been asked countless times. I don't know why you guys really give a crap about how I edit my videos but you guys always ask me like what I do to edit my videos or something like that and uh, realistically it's not very flashy or exciting about how I edit my videos or anything because realistically it's pretty basic in my opinion. I've seen some other people out there to use uh, better editing techniques or better editing software and even though I like my uh, Mac I think it does a pretty good job. I feel like it limits me on the ways that I can edit my videos and I feel like you know if I had the capabilities I would like to do a lot more with my edits. It's just one, I'm limited in the capacity of what the Mac can do. And then honestly, I'm limited in the knowledge about how to um, completely maybe use my Mac. Um, but then again, like I said, I feel like with everything I've learned over the last uh, year and a half, two years on doing YouTube videos, I feel like I've learned like pretty much what I can learn using the Mac compared to like other softwares. I've seen other softwares, you know, that can do more advanced edits. Um, I've seen a little bit of Hatter's edit features and to me they look very complicating, but it's also one of those things that if you're not using it, it might look complicating, but once you start using it, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upload the video I just recorded and I decided I am going to show you guys how I edit my videos, but I am gonna show you guys what it takes to edit a video and then upload it onto YouTube if you are ever interested. And of course, this is only using my Mac. I don't know how you do it with any other systems. Uh, there is a couple ways to upload it from the Mac, but I use, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it, but there are other ways. So I'm gonna show you how I do it from my Mac, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this video might be kind of long because I don't think you guys realize how much time and effort I take into making a video. So hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado guys, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so that way I can upload what I just did and I am gonna try to show you guys what I'm doing while I'm uploading the video footage. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and we'll go to view number two. Okay, so I don't know how exciting this is gonna be, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit. I did get another cup of coffee because when you win three World Series championships, you got to have at minimum three cups of coffee. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do the screen recording so you guys can uh, see what I'm recording. And so I need to cut out the volume. So I'm going to hook up my expensive mic as Hatter calls it. But then again, Hatter's buying an expensive organizer for his music. So it's like, I, I don't understand what the difference is. You can buy an expensive music organizer, but I can't buy an expensive mic. So Hatter, your logic and reasoning make no sense. But then again, I also say if somebody wants to buy something and it makes their lives a lot easier, then they should go ahead and do it. And I'm only saying all that because I, I'm hooking up my mic and I'm just kind of stalling for time. So here we go, gonna plug it in. So sorry if you guys can't see it. This way, uh, the audio from uh, the video will not interfere and you guys will you know see kind of what i'm saying and talking about at the same time as i'm recording so like i said i don't know how entertaining this is going to be actually i'm going to change the uh, position of the camera so i'm going to turn the camera off real quick and then i'm going to change it because i think i have a better angle for it so let me check okay so hopefully that is better i'm going to start the screen recording so you guys can kind of see what i'm doing so here we go start that I'm sure what exactly call i just call it the photo section you know, there you go. Let's uh, fix this up a little bit. Anyways, uh, here we go. Just go to imports, which it was already on. Scroll down, and here are the videos that I just did. So I actually am gonna just import all of them at the same time to make it easier. So we do that. We press the import selective pictures. I keep trying to erase all those other ones, but it never works. And while that is importing, as you guys can see, I will go to my document section. I will go to my filming stuff, so YouTube videos. I will go to videos and uh, more videos. And um, here's what I'll do. I'll make a new folder 
and I will name it just so I can have it. We'll call this one Losers Club. I'll fix up the spelling here in just a minute, but this is just so you guys can know, it's gonna go right there. So that's video number one. And since I'm making two videos out of this, uh, how to edit. I'm gonna rename this one, it's just I'm doing it with uh, one hand. So how to edit. All right, so that is going. We are gonna click on the uh, Losers Club one, that way that it's already open. So when those other videos show, um, I can just transform over. We're gonna minimize here. Actually, I minimize too much. Make it bigger. So just press the little green. No, I don't want the little green. There we go. I guess I'm just going to shrink it here. I just shrink it. And now, there we go. Uh, I am going to pro uh, see here. I got a couple videos already uploaded. I'm not going to keep all the videos, so I will be checking them out here in just a second. Actually, while this is going, let me just check this one out. I don't think I'm going to need this one. This one's going to be deleted. There's just so me. why did you want to join the Loser Club? Because everyone wait, ate, wait, sorry, let's start that over. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that one. See, so I don't, I use, I save all my um, video files, but you know, honestly, if there's like nothing on those uh, that I need to save, I just won't save them. What is your name? Really? What? <laughs> there could be somebody watching this video for the first time that doesn't. Okay, so. Minor leagues, it's being minor leagues, so we'll delete that one. Plus, you know, each video takes up space, so we gotta just, you know, if we can, not have it. And what is your name? Minor leagues. What? Minor leagues. You gotta say it louder. Oh. Okay, so, okay, so we're making progress, so well, there we go. And then, as you guys can see, there was a two minute video here and a one minute video here. And uh, YouTube is not going to like that because it is not 10 minutes long. So, oh well, uh, here we go. The, now we're starting the, okay, so all the videos are uploaded. So here we go. I'm just going to try to see if I could do this because I got to press Control C or Command C so I can transfer them all over. And we are going to actually, I'm sorry guys, I didn't want to transfer all of them because this is the Loser Club. And so we got those three videos and we transferred them over. That's all we got to do right there. So they're all in. And then it will show me here in just a second. Okay, so it's all highlighted right there. And then what I do is I'll delete these from here so they don't take up space. And then I will go back to the other file that I just created about editing. And that was like my intro. And we'll transfer that one over here. And that one is on there as well. There we go. And there we go. So this one's our kind of a short video. That first one was. And we are all set. So without... Now we are going to switch back to the camera. So I am going to go over here to iMovies. Open up iMovies. Hopefully it opens, here we go. Cause we need to transport all the stuff I just recorded. Okay, I'll go to when it comes up, create new. You guys see all my other stuff that I've been uh, working on or that I released recently. All right, so it says nothing selected. So you come down to this little drop down arrow right here. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't know the proper names, but you know, I'm one of those guys that you can show how to do something, I'll take notes, uh, but I probably won't be able to tell you exactly what the true name is. But anyway, so we'll go to where my file saves, so 2019. And we will go to the uh, joining the Losers Club section, because that's where it's at. Now I have all these you know, files right here, these four that I just saved, uh, the MP4. So I'll just, since I need them all, I'll just go import all. And you see the little, you know, clock here ticking. So there you go. And like I said, this video is not going to be very entertaining, but you guys asked for it. Uh, so here you go. So I'm going to give it to you in its entirety. So I might have to, I might have to stop uh, the screen recording and uh, restart it just because truthfully, I don't know how much time the screen recording can do. All right. So I know the order of that. I'm going to be using. So this is the first one. So I'll put that down here. Uh, and then um, I think I went to this one. Yeah, that's the special one. 
And then we went to Minor Leagues Review, and then we went to my little closing here. And then you see how that they're all small, and I need to enlarge them so I can do the proper edit. I go over here to the settings tab right here. I put it in the middle or as much as, you know, the, the more that I go forward on it, the more that I could potentially cut things out. So if you guys could see, you can see all this that I could cut out. I'm gonna lower the volume here because it's already loud. But um, I usually have it about halfway to three quarters. And if I feel like there's a piece that I can't cut out, um, you know, like if I'm doing something with my mouth or I gotta just make it, uh, you know, edit or something, I will increase the setting to go bigger so I have more available. So here we go, we're gonna start this. So I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna press the up arrow and there we go. And let's get start editing. So sorry if I'm not looking up, but this is how you edit a video and you'll see the screen recording. So here we go. All right, lower the volume because it's already loud. Take my deep breath. I know I'm gonna cut that part out. So there we go, here we go. Okay, so, so far I'm okay with everything that I said so far. I don't feel like there's anything I need to edit out. Uh, that was the impression that I wanted to give, or not say, not the impression per se, but that is just reality. I can't do a lot of backyard, so my backyard is crap. So let's continue on. Also, I'm trying to give it a little more seriousness because I'm trying to add or uh, throw in that comedic uh, emphasis of the video because you guys know I try to have fun and at the end of the day this is all in fun so it's like I already know I'm probably gonna get I would have to say a minimum of five dislikes on this video and you guys will see this videos first so you'll be able to tell me if I'm right or wrong but I'm pretty sure I'll get at least five dislikes because of the names I threw in so let's continue on Which is true, which is true. That is Dax out there. Hit the space bar so I can catch up. There's no point in trying to uh, fight the, uh, you know, Dax's uh, collar or anything, you know, in the background, because I can't really edit that out. I, um, there's just going to be noise in the background. If you guys have watched a lot of Hatter's videos, that's all his videos are, are background interruption. So, <laughs> shot at you, Hatter. So, there you go. This is all true, by the way. You guys know I don't fabricate anything. It is, it is, as you guys are aware of. Thanks, Dax. I, th I think I'm gonna make that first edit because you see where I did that little thing with my mouth where I went, I gotta cut that out. So I just press, you can do Command-B, which is the easiest way to do it. Or if I press Command-Z, I could uh, come back. But anyways, other than that, if you just want to click on it, you insert where you want to make the edit at, and you'll put that little line there. You press the right mouse button. If you have an uh, older mouse, which I do, you have your right and left side. So you just press the right button. It breaks it brings up this little drop down box and then all you got to do is split the clip and that'll split it so then you let it play again so then then i did that little thing with my mouth that i i do a lot so i have to stop it where i want the thing to go and this will be like one spot where i'll probably increase the setting so we'll do that real quick so i can try to get the right spot and you see the little mouse spot is that little arrow right here 
So press the back button and instead of pressing the right mouse button, I'll just press command B. There we go, I take it out, highlight it and delete. So then I go back, play it again to make sure that I have it correct. Um, sorry, I just burped, so sorry about that. But you know, I'm not making a lot of edits on this video because you guys wanna see what I'm doing. So here we go. So I press you know, space bar to pause it and here we go, make sure I got it. So as you see that it came out and it did good job. So there we go. I am gonna uh, leave the settings right where it's at right now. And the only problem is you guys saw I just accidentally moved the mouse. So it's gonna start where I accidentally moved the mouse to. So let's go. Okay, there's a long break right there. So I always cut out the long breaks. Now, when you're making the edits, you, the edits have to be a minimum of like 0.1 seconds, so like a tenth of a second in order for it to be deleted. So there you go, take that little space out because it's too long. And then cut this long break out. So just back arrow, here we go. So then I'll go back here, so. So, sounds pretty good. So another long pause. Now here's where it gets kind of weird sometimes is when I, I try not to change my uh, facial expressions or do anything weird with my hands because when I do my edits it looks funny but I just don't like leaving in those long pause or those long breaks. So like you'll go from one view where my hands are down then the next view is like my hands in my face is like, what the? Yeah, yeah, it's like that. So here we go, another long pause. Put it right where I want it, I'll take it off, and that'll take off point, basically a half a second. So let's do that. Here we go, another long break. So Hatter, you gotta get out all of your long breaks, because you never get out your long breaks, dude. That's why your videos are like 18 minutes, 17 minutes, 15, come on Hatter, you just take out the long pauses, and your videos are where you have nothing going on, dude. Dude, your videos would be just right about, you know, 10, 12 minutes. Now, if they have to be 15 minutes, I get that. But your videos don't have to be 15 minutes. And I'm only talking this to Hatter because I've been watching Hatter's videos for a long time. Me and Hatter, we talk back and forth. And, and I know for some time, he'll actually listen to my advice. Just like I actually, I take his advice as well. Uh, I may not use it all, but I do listen and I do take some of it. So, anyways, let's continue on. And here's another long pause. And I did originally want the pause in there for like the emphasis, like, oh man, but I don't want it in there. So I'm gonna take it off. That'll cut another, what, almost a full second off. So if you see my overall video, it is 15 minutes and 46 seconds. And I'm only at the two minute and seven second mark. So I'll take that off. And I want you to remember that because by the time I get done with this video, we're probably looking at about maybe 12, 13 minutes video. So. Yes, and as you guys will see, my edit video is gonna be a lot longer than that because you guys wanna know how I edit. And uh, for everybody that's planning on doing YouTube or thinks they wanna do YouTube or thinks YouTube is easy, it's, it's not as easy as you think it is if you wanna make good videos. And I don't say that in a negative way or a condescending way or anything like that. I just want you to realize the next time that you watch a 10 minute video with edits and good cuts and everything, you know that person put in some work. So yes, do I get frustrated sometimes that uh, my numbers aren't better on videos? Yes, I do. Do I get a little maybe frustrated that sometimes, you know, I wish I had more Patreons because I feel like the amount of work I put into a video, I deserve more Patreons? Yes, I do. But my original goal when I started YouTube was not for Patreons, was not for views, it was for fun. So I keep telling myself that and the views and Patreons will come when they come. And I only want you guys to know that because I feel like people think doing YouTube videos is like a super easy way to make money that if you just start making videos, the views and the Patreons and the ad revenue are just gonna just pour in. No, it doesn't work like that. So you guys will see, I don't do a lot of live streams. I do maybe one, two max live streams a week, no more. People act like, hey, I just gotta do live streams and I'll get my view time. No, you get your view time by actually making videos that people wanna watch. You get your view time by making videos that are entertaining. And you get your view time by making videos that are not too freaking, 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 freaking long. 
I do not watch a rerun of a live stream that is two, three, four hours long. And if I watch your live stream and it's about an hour long, uh, and I get to the first, you know, 10 or so minutes and I'm bored, I'm not gonna spend the next 50 minutes watching your live stream, okay? So sorry about that little rant, but I just, anybody thinking about doing YouTube videos, your content should not all be live stream. I'm just telling you guys, okay? Make videos, have fun with it, make it entertaining. Do not do all live streams. Unless you have a real dedicated podcast with material, with topics, with guests, with interviews, whatever. Okay, I get the podcast aspect. But if all you're doing is sitting there talking about random subjects that uh, nobody really cares about, uh, they might be interesting to you. But remember, if you want to talk to a mass of people, you don't do subjects that are interested only mostly to you. You want to do subjects that are interesting to other people. So that's why I'm always watching other stuff on YouTube or I'm watching other big YouTubers or I just pay attention to the YouTube news. So, hey, if it sounds interesting and I think people might want to hear it or it's related to my videos, I will throw it in one of my videos and I will talk about it because it is interesting to my viewers. I don't just talk about stuff that is interesting to me. So remember that. Okay, so sorry about that little ramble. I just want people to understand making videos is not as easy as you think it is. So more bricks, cut those out. Cut that break out. Now here's where I'm gonna stop uh, the screen recording and I'm gonna make another one because I don't know how much, see this uh, screen recording was 13 minutes. So here we go. Let's title this uh, edit one screen. And we are gonna save it to where we wanna save it if possible. Let's see if we can, and we'll just save it under YouTube videos. And there we go, it'll save. So you're obviously not seeing it because I canceled the screen recording, but uh, you are going to see the rest of it in just a second. So it does take a minute to upload. So we did like 13 minutes on that. And we've got through, what, two minutes of the video? Two now. I did talk, but uh, you guys asked for this. All right, so we're gonna go up to screen player again. New screen recording. We're gonna make sure eternal mic is uh, checked off. Here we go, eternal mic, yes, there we go. Press record, and we will go back to edit, and let's get going. Okay, here we go. That is another part I always try to take out that uh thing. So here we go. So let's get back because I want to keep the thud. And as you see, my clip that I wanted to edit wasn't that long. So I got to figure out how to take it off. So here we go. So I just have to have it right there. And that will be perfect. So take that off. another long break so here we go take that out so you see my time on my video is going down it's at 1544 so it doesn't seem like it's that much but it does make a difference another break so you see that's a long break so that's a one second break okay let me see if I take some of that out right there I'll take some of that out there we go, that's about half a second. Okay, three, three tenths of a second. Two, two long a break. There we go, take that out. We'll cut that out. Now you guys might be saying this is boring because I'm just cutting stuff out, but I mean, this is how I make a video. This is what it takes to make a video. Take that out. Now 
Now when the uh makes sense, and I leave it in. So we got that. See, I feel like leaving that Jake Paul statement, KSI statement in there is relevant. Uh, a lot of people probably don't know who KSI or Jake Paul is, but I do. And uh, if you guys don't know who they are, they basically are one of the godfathers of YouTube in a sense. They've been around for a long time. They have millions and millions of subscribers, just like Mr. Beast, just like PewDiePie. There's a ton of other people out there with a bunch of uh, subscribers, but these guys, they've been in the news a lot lately, and it is sports because it's boxing. So I think it's relevant to my channel of twofolds with the YouTube information and with the boxing information. Another long break. Take that out. Okay, take some more of that out. Another long break, take that out. Here we go, here's the kicker. Some more. If you guys don't know who I'm, if you guys don't know who I'm referring to, I'm pretty sure you guys do, but just in case, I'm referring to some dude named uh, McGeehan. Texas. He's a, he's a loser on the lower form of the social media platform. So that's where I think all the uh, dislike dweebs are going to come in is when they hear me mention McGee. There we go. And obviously that's more of a joke. So, you know, but uh, some people don't have a sense of humor, just like you know, if somebody wanted to like me, me, I don't really care. I think it's funny as long as it's in fun. I understand this is YouTube, so it's a fun thing to do. So if you take it too serious, you got some issues. Okay, another long break. Say hill, go upstairs. I'm leaving this in here because this is what I gotta put up with when I do my stuff. Say hill, go upstairs with Bricey, please. This is what I gotta do with the interruptions of when I'm trying to edit and do videos. This cuts into my editing time, and I just don't have anywhere else to go where I can have quietness to do this stuff. So I gotta do it at the table. So Dax is out there fighting with the blanket, so we'll take all this out. Let's take all that out. So look at that, we're down to 1535. Okay, we got some more stuff in here. But you see how the time is going down. Hatter, take notes. Okay, long break. You just don't need the long breaks. They don't do anything for your videos. Sometimes they make sense, but you know, just think of how many long breaks you take out, how, how much better your videos will be. And it is like a pain in the rear to do all these edits and take an even out, you know, one tenth of a second. But your video quality, honestly, just paying attention to that little detail, will improve your videos just tenfold just from people that are watching it for the first time. That's why I feel like uh, I'm lacking on my editing skills or my editing software because I feel like I could do a better job. It's just, the old saying goes, you work with what you got and you do the best with what you got. So if I could do this with what I got, imagine if I had actually really good editing equipment. Imagine what I would be able to do then. So not like tooting my own horn, but that is the old saying, so. So another long break. Well, there we go. Taking out some more, taking out some more long breaks just all at once. So 
Got them all there. So I'm gonna actually highlight each break. There we go. Hold the command button down so I can grab them all together and I'll press the delete. There we go. And I think I'll take some of this, take some of this out right here. And look at that, we're down to 1532 on the time. Some more long breaks. And I'm trying to do this fast, but it doesn't always work out. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to add something in. So uh, I'm going to have to stop the screen recording again to, so I can put in the picture and show you guys what it is. So remember, press the red X. This will bring up the title to close it. We'll call this... Uh, what do uh, I, I don't know. I think I call it editing one. So we'll call this one editing two. There we go. Save it. I'll be able to find it here easily. So it's okay. Forgot to see because uh, I'm going to take the headsets off here in a second because I forgot to download a picture that I took of my inner leagues earlier in the day for this. So yes, hang on. Take off the headset here. Now I'm going to hook up the phone. So whenever I'm doing my edits and stuff, I just keep my uh, Apple cord down here. I have, you know, couple of these Apple cords so that way I can just uh, download stuff from my phone because sometimes I shoot from my phone as you guys know. Okay, there we go. Put it in there. Make sure that it's unlocked. Here we go. Not now. Okay, I'm not going to do a screen recording of this because you guys already saw what I do on this. I just, you know, press on the pictures. I go to import and then um, I look for the picture I want, which is right here. It is, uh, you'll see it in just a second, import selected. So since it's a picture, it goes quicker. I just go to my little go thing here, go to documents. And I did rename the file, like I said I was going to. So you guys already saw all this, so I'm not gonna show you this part. All right, we got our thing up here. So we'll click on the picture. We'll just uh, drag it over, that's all you do. And it is uploaded. I will delete the picture now because so it doesn't stay on the uh, memory stuff so I don't clog up my memory. All right, now I will uh, unplug the phone and I will put the headset back on so we can do the screen recording. Where did I want minor leaks to be at? Cut out all this. So you click on the picture you want, you put it where you want, and then you go up to, um, I'm not sure what this little box is considered, but you have three options. You have this Ken Burns effect, which will basically it'll move the picture. So if you leave it the way it is with the Ken, Ken Burns effects, it'll cut. Hang on. Here you go. So what I had to do was to make sure that the picture would be in there. I had to click on this right here, which is the main screen. So that way it will cut from me and go straight to the picture. And the Ken Burns effects basically uh, does like a horizontal movement in the picture. So if you have the effect going from top to bottom, that's what it's going to do. Or you can do from bottom to top. So that's what you can do. I don't like that effect. So I'm going to go back to it. So you click on these right here. I want to go fit. That way the picture is all together. And I will go and then you go to the little video overlay and I do picture in picture. And here we go. It is picture in picture. I will put it. Actually, you know what? I want to no, I put it right here. So I'm going to put it right here. Actually, I'm going to do a split screen. So let's cut it to split screen instead. And uh, you can position the split screen how you want. So even though I point it up, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to point it on the top. Here we go. So you click on the position right here, and I'm going to put it on the top. So I might have to hang on. Let me see here. I might have to do a crop to fill here so I can have a better picture. That way it'll take up more of the screen and then here we go so we did a crop and basically what a crop is if you guys don't know whatever is in this little segmented area of the picture that is what you're going to see so after i think i got the crop where i want it right there let's see here i'm gonna put it like right there and of course this area is the centered so whatever is in this area that's where it's going to be so if i have this like this it is going to show all this black so i try to put as much center as possible since i'm not using the whole picture and then i click on the like overlay button and then you will see now do i like that not really so i think i'm going to change it again let's see here what does it look like on the left okay left looks a little better and then i'm going to crop it up a little bit more i'm going to move it this way so it looks like uh minor leagues is in it better so you see 
how the balance is a little bit better. So I'm going to leave it like that. So here we go. Let's check it out. I'm going to leave in that long pause, you know, for like a little comedic approach. Okay, long break right here. So just taking out that long break, I save one and a half seconds. Take out some more breaks here. So even though it may not seem like a lot, I've already taken two seconds out of this whole video. Some more. Go back, because I don't want to cut out some, I don't want to cut it that much out. There we go. Some more breaks. Point three. I don't like that. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. I did my little segmented part right there. And if you see, I am at 1526, so take all that off. And we are at 1522. Now, here is where I'm gonna kind of put a little pause in the video so I can make sure I save my work before I continue on. So we're gonna go hit the projects button right here, and I'm gonna rename it. And uh, we're gonna call this How Major League Hats Edits a Video. How ML Hats Edits videos for you there you go all right press ok and it will save and obviously this is not going to be like the thumbnail or anything but this is what pops up first so we're going to click back on it and then on top of that since i'm putting in one of my ml hats like little break here that's what I'm going to do. It's going to load everything back up. Normally it should be there, but sometimes I don't know why, but it just takes it away. So we have all my previous work here. If I haven't deleted it, it is all here. So I have all these ML hats, like logos that Hatter made me. So thank you very much, Hatter. If you ever get a chance to send me some more. Uh, you know, since I was talking about the 49ers, I'm going to put the 49ers in here. I always try to put seven seconds of this right here because even though it seems like a lot, it really isn't. It goes by quick. All right, so seven seconds. I try to have all my stuff like uniformed. So then we go to audio. Now I could either use some of the audio I did before, so it'll be at the bottom here. Let me see which one I use. Nope. Nope. I'm going to go back to my usual dogma. So I click on the audio and I bring it down. And this was just some audio that uh, Mac has. So can't worry about copyrights or anything like that. So make sure it's all good. So if you see the ML Hats logo coming in, that's because it's set under the Ken Burns effect. And I kind of like that in that sense. So I'll leave it there for that. So here we go. So it's coming in slowly. And there you go. Seven seconds is about right. This will be the end of part one. I'm going to do an upload video where I upload the video and then I put in tags, I put in my hyperlinks and everything like that. So hope you guys enjoyed part one on how I edit my video. Stay tuned to part two for the upload, the tags, the hyperlinks, the end screens, and how I do the monetization process to make sure that my ads are in the right spot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will see you again in the second video.